It's my first one. This is my fourth. What is it for you? This is my 19th full marathon. I have, I've never won one before. I've done about 50 of them so far. I'm sorry, how many? About 50. See you later. Where are you from? Uh, Mexico, Guadalajara. Wake Forest. Roseville. Woodbridge, Virginia. Durham. Chapel Hill. I'm from Hawaii, yes. Alaska. It's just a lot of energy going on right now. The Rock and Roll Marathon! Yeah, this is cool, man. Woo! My family's here, my husband's taking pictures. When you look at it with the, all the cancer patients and all the people out here that are supporting them, it's, it's just a wonderful experience. My wife is a uh, leukemia patient, and I decided that uh, this is something I can do to help her. We know what we're getting into. We were actually just talking about why do we always do this to ourselves. I'm looking at about five hours. Just get it done. Yeah. Get it done. It's exciting. I'm, uh, we'll see how I feel at the end. I wouldn't call it running. I would call it more slow jog. One step in front of the other. That's it. Just got to finish. Just got to finish.
<laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Mexico, Guadalajara. Yeah, thank you. No, uh, no, I live here. But <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is this your first marathon? Uh, no, it's not. But I've been, you know, since many years I've not been running, so yeah, I'm very excited about it. It's a big event. That's correct. Yes. That's right. What do you want to come out today? Uh, well, you know, I don't know, maybe two and a half hours. We'll see about that. Okay. okay. You look awful excited. I am. Absolutely, having a great time. Yeah. What, yeah. what brings you out? Well, my wife is a uh, leukemia patient, and I decided that uh, this is something I can do to help her and raise some funds through uh, team of training. How does it make you feel to be uh, doing it this group of people to raise money for cancer? I'll tell you, it makes me feel absolutely great. Um, you know, when you, when you look at it with the, all the cancer patients and all the people out here that are supporting them, it's it's just a wonderful experience. Okay, where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Cary, North Carolina. First, uh, first half marathon? Yes, uh, I've, I've never won one before, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. What do you think about the crowd out here? Amazing. I, you know, I've, I've seen uh, uh, New York Marathon go off many times, and this uh, this does it proud. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, a lot of people here. It's incredible. What's your name? My name is Charlie. Charlie, what's your name? Charlie Prestia. TIA. 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 Yep. Right. Came all the way from Alaska. <laughs> Where are you from? Alaska. Where? Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage, Alaska. Yes. Yes. To visit my sister. What do you think about the day? Oh, it's great. Great weather. It's warmer here. When you first heard about this event, what did you think? Um, it's my first one, so, yeah. It's your first marathon? Yeah, half marathon, so, yeah. How many miles? 13.1. Yeah, 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 I know. Are you looking to it? Yes, yes, I am. Who are you here with? My sister. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Down from Alaska as well? No, from, we live here in Raleigh. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't have run my first marathon without her. Your first marathon? My first half marathon without her, yes. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy. I can never imagine running with you. Oh, <laughs> it's not that bad. Not that bad. Okay, what do you think about the crowd today? It's, it's great. It's awesome. Exciting. Cool. Like yeah. What's your name? Jodine. Edwards. E D W A R D S. Yeah, Edwards. Thank you, guys. Yeah, my husband. John Crawford. John, you guys are quite the pair. Yeah, <laughs> matching. We see, so we can see see each other uh, from yeah. the crowd. Absolutely. Yeah. Who planned that out? What? Who planned that out? Oh, I don't know. It just happened this morning. <laughs> what do we got up? Yeah. Is this your uh, first marathon? This is my third. Your third marathon? Yeah. You're doing the full one or the half? I'm uh, doing the full. The full marathon. Yeah. Wow, most people I talk to are doing the half. Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. I'm. Uh, we'll, we'll see how I feel at the end. Yeah, that's impressive. The event today. I think it's great. Uh, we love the rock and roll series. Raleigh's great. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful town. Gonna, looking forward to the run. Cool. Yeah. Right. And what's your name? John Crawford. Can you spell last name? C R A W F O R D. Hey. Good. How you doing? You got the corral here. Yeah. You're corralling people. Oh yeah. We're getting ready to set them off. How's it going? What, what do you think about the excitement level? Yeah. Oh, they love it. This is one of the best cities we've had all year. Yeah. One of the best cities. They love this event. They're, we're happy to be here too. Yeah. So, uh, how long have you been with them? What do you, what do you, what do you do? For I've been doing about, I've been doing this about two, two years. Yeah. Well, I've been with the company for about two years. I've been doing this for about five. So. What, what kind of stuff do you do? What's it like being in the corral in the middle of all these people? This is the most, this is the most exciting part of the day for me. This is my job. This is what I love to do. So. Next city, we go to Nashville in a week and a half. Straight from there to Portland. Then I'm home for a week and we go to San Diego. Whoa. All over the place. All over the place. All right, what's your name? Tyler Vance. T-Y-L-E-R-V-A-N-C-E. Perfect. Thanks, buddy.
Thank you. Happy to be here. Oh, yeah. We're excited to be here. Yeah. How are you feeling about the day? Fantastic. Beautiful. I'm excited. Is this your first marathon? No, it's not. No? Uh, third marathon. Third? Are you running the full or the half? Just the half today. Half? Yeah, I'm staying with my dad, so. Yeah? Yeah. 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 That's cool. Father, son, That's great. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you, uh, how about you? Uh, your first marathon? Now, this is my third, third as well. Yeah, I'm doing the half. We do. Oh, this, this is one event that we can do together. What's that? This is one event we can do together and work out together. So that's just good. I don't think I can run 13 miles. Oh well, I wouldn't call it running. I would call it more slow jog. <laughs> what do you think about the crowd today? Oh, it's, it's amazing. We did rock and roll marathon in uh, Vegas, and, and it was it was wild. Three rock and roll, and um, and then he's done a he's done the marathon the, the full marathon in Myrtle Beach. wasn't a rock and roll, but how come you do all the rock and roll? Oh, they they just they just do a fantastic job in planning and all the organization. Well, well it's fun. I mean, you got you got a band every uh, every mile or a couple of miles, you know, and it's just lively. Dylan Carter. Races. This is my fourth. What is it for you? This is my 19th full marathon. 19th. My first rock and roll. We both always wanted to do rock and roll, so it was sweet that it came to rock. What do you think about the rock and roll? It's it's rocking. <laughs> <laughs> and in a minute, we're gonna be rolling. <laughs> One step in front of the other. That's it. Just got to finish. Just got to finish. Uh, have you run marathons in Raleigh before? I've done City of Oaks and Tobacco Road. Okay. What do you think about the route? I prefer City of Oaks and Tobacco Road. Is this a tough race? I think it will be. Yeah. Just looking at the route on paper and the hills, I think it's going to be a tougher, and then the heat will be a factor today. So I think that's going to be an issue, right? It'll still be fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So what brings you out to the rock and roll? Oh, because I live so close, I just couldn't pass it up. You know, it's right in my own backyard. What's your name? Gwen Williams. G W E N W I L L I A M S. Alicia Lockard, L O C K A R D. Alicia A L I C I A. A L I C I A. You. <laughs> I can't pass it up. How's it going today? It's going pretty good. How's it going today? You got that. You are rocking the purple. All for the cure. So what brings you out today? Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Running for my parents and my brother-in-law. One more time. I'm running for my parents and for my brother-in-law. Lost both parents. My brother-in-law is fighting it. What's your first marathon? Fourth. Fourth marathon. Tim McBride. Like you're having a good time, buddy. We absolutely are having a great time. What do you think about this uh, about this event today? Well, this is our first time doing it. I'm sorry, what? I said this is our first time doing it, and we're doing it as a team, so it's really awesome. It's great. So what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, and what's your team? Who are you, who are you racing for? I don't know. 
ourselves. Yeah. For yeah. Ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's your, it's your first. First rock and roll. First rock and roll. Uh huh. Uh huh. None. No marathon. We're, we're, we're thinking about we're it. We're half crazy. Only half. Only we're half, half crazy. Uh, <laughs> We've done a couple of halves before. This is the first. We know what we're getting into. We were actually just talking about why do we always do this to ourselves. But we're gonna have fun. Well, why do you do it? Because it's a great way to exercise, a great way to meet friends. It's a great thing. Yeah. Yep. So what happens? What kind of mindset do you get to after like nine miles, ten miles, eleven miles? Just get it done. Get it done. You're in the zone. It's kind of after like probably seven or eight when you know you're just about there, and it's like I'm almost. There, why quit now? Just make it happen. Yep. What about you? What kind of mindset do you get into? Around mile nine, I'm just in the zone. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just moving, going with the motion. So it's a good time. So get into a rhythm. Yep. <laughs> the first two miles, I'm just like, why? But around nine, mile nine, I'm good. All right, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, your last name? Bryant. B-R-Y-A-N-T. Yes, sir. Latasha, Latasha. Abney. Yes. Okay. And how do you spell your first name? L A T A S H A. Capital T? No. No. Nope. Lowercase. Yep. Where are you guys from? I'm from Woodbridge, Virginia. Virginia? Yep. So you're for the race today? Yes. What do you think about this? A lot of people are here. Well, but what I think about is the traffic that I had to deal with coming down here. Tell me about the traffic. <laughs> the traffic sucked. It took me six hours to get here, and I was not pleased at all. Yeah, yeah. What about today? Today it wasn't bad. We actually walked from the hotel. We stayed at the Double Tree. So I mean, to deal with traffic was ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Where are you guys from? Durham, Chapel Hill. Chapel Hill. Yep. What brings you out today? Rock and roll. Is this your first marathon? First half marathon. First half marathon. Have you done full marathons before? No. No, thank you. No. No, thanks. Uh, do you know what you're getting into? No. That's why I'm here. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Perfect. You guys are going to stick together? Yes. The whole time. We'll be at the end together. Have you planned that out? Yes. Yeah, we did. So what do you think is going to happen? Like mile 8, mile 9, mile 10? We're going to talk about Bravo. <laughs> we'll talk about Bravo TV. <laughs> That's what keeps us going. That's what keeps you going. It is. <laughs> We get distracted, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It'll be good. What do you think about the crowd today? It's a great turnout. Yeah. It's busy. Lots of people. So why Rock and Roll Marathon? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? A lot of fun. Looks like fun. All the music will be fun. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Allison. Allison, your last name? Maroney. Can you spell it? M-O-R-O-N-E-Y. Trish Long. L O N G. Looks like you've done a lot of half marathons. I've been doing several over the years, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the rock and roll? Uh, rock and roll is great. I've done about 50 of them so far. I'm sorry, how many? About 50? <laughs> and you rock and roll yes. Marathon? Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's a great way to run because there's bands at almost every mile. Gives you that motivation to continue on as well, too. That's cool. I didn't realize there was bands throughout the route. Yes. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to get out. See the country as well, too. What do you think about the crowd today? A great crowd. Lots of people. Um, it's just a lot of energy going on right now. That's cool. Thanks. You are the last runner. <laughs> I like to start at the very end. Then I can just talk story with all the people who are walking or running. And Make it more of a social event. Yeah, you got it. That's cool. What's your name? Kamika. Kamika, can you spell it? K-A-M-I-K-A. -A -A, from Hawaii. And your last name? Smith. Okay, you're from Hawaii? I'm from Hawaii, yes. Did you come all the way up here today? Just for this. I actually did one yesterday in Columbia, South Carolina. You did one yesterday? Yes, so that way I could check off another state. <laughs> Thank you. Aloha. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for talking. You're welcome. Hey, here we go. What is going on today? What do you think is going on with the Rock and Roll Marathon? Woo! We're here from, um, from San Diego. We've got girls from all over. And we're doing the Rock and Roll Marathon representing Mind Body Big Club. Smarter, fitter, healthier.
healthier. So the whole point is to do these happy marathons as a means to just staying in the lifestyle of living fit. So that's good. Deanna Nunez, Mind Body Fit Club. D-E-A-N-N-A, Nunez, N-U-N-E-Z. Mind Body Fit Club from San Diego, California. You're about 30 seconds away from your journey. A journey of discovery of Raleigh, the great city of Raleigh. This is our normal time here. We loved it, we hope you do too. We're coming back next year. Promise. We love this city. We're quiet. In 10. Nice one. 
school was a life before body art. Our first big opportunity. I think she has such a big idea. John Walsh from New York. And 303 from Fleet Feet. And another female, and then we'll go to Bill Leslie from Stanford, North Carolina. Shout out, Kayla. Let's move you. Just for these interesting phenomena. Okay, Bill, finally. Um, I'm sure you got. Here's our third female coming in. Those two guys just pulled up so much for sure.
is official winning time, 109.32 on the men's side. And on the women's side, on my legs right now. I'm a little loose on my legs right now. <laughs> this is Jack, Ben, Michael, Mark, Liam, and John. I'm the Pied Piper. Yeah, yeah. Well, these boys run cross country all year round. Coach won't let them run a half marathon yet. So they joined me at mile eight. Yeah. 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 How does it make you feel to participate in something like this? It was, it was great. This is a great event. Yeah, you guys did a phenomenal job. Yeah. What's your name? Matt. Matt, your last name? Grow, G R O W. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Here in Raleigh. Okay. Yeah. Pick it in. Come up on the 157 mark.
Bowers. Let's go, runners, let's go. Keep it up, one more turn, you got this. One more turn, let's go, let's go.
Okay, so I've got to kind of keep this like that. Okay. Um, let's try to ignore the cameras. Okay. Um, so first thing, can I get you to say and spell your name for me? Doug Redford, D-O-U-G-R-E-D-F-O-R-D. -E okay, so what is going on today? Not a normal Sunday. Not a normal Sunday. It's Palm Sunday. It's an important Sunday in the church calendar. Um, and we've got 12,500 runners uh, in and around us. You can probably still hear them finishing behind us. Um, but we've managed to have Palm Sunday services just not as normal. People have had to um, plan ahead of time and, and figure out how they're going to get here, figure out where they're going to park. But uh, um, it's a beautiful day, and we've had we've had lots of people in church. Great. Um, I, it sounds like you guys did your homework beforehand to try to get the word out of how to get to church today. We sent out emails to everybody in the congregation. It was in our church newsletter. It was on our Facebook pages, on our website. It is on our website right now. Um, trying to get the word out to people as much as we can to say you got to plan your route in it's not going to be your normal route uh, you may not be parking in the normal place and we got the uh, wonderful option of being able to go the wrong way on morgan street to get into our parking lot very nice uh, you, you mentioned that the organizers um, worked with you to a certain extent to reroute They've done so, they did some rerouting over the original route, and then they've been working with us to produce maps to help our help spread the word to our congregation and how they can get in. And they worked to make sure that we had a route in. Um, they kept some of the parking decks off of their website so that we had a better chance of being able to get into those parking space. Because what I what surprised me is how many people are coming down to watch and to cheer and to listen to music. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all in all. All in all, good thing. Perfect. I think that'll do it. What's your title? Uh, I'm a deacon. Deacon. Okay. <laughs>